Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 52. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so this is the uh, fourth video of this 12-hour uh, stream that we're recording today. Uh, it's Road Atlanta around the full circuit i assume 25 laps 35 laps fucking hell okay uh we're taking the z06 gonna have some fun with it let's get going all right here we go this is uh race number four of the day this is the sixth endurance race and uh this is for god knows how many laps 35 laps around road atlanta We've got the number 99 America car. Well, it's not. It's a Tiger. The other Z06 is the America car. I'm not going to lie. This is actually really stable. Yeah, you can see Mexico. Uh, I saw a clip earlier of a car just absolutely getting flung off the island. Like, it went miles off the island, but you could see below that there was a version of Mexico down there. Which is pretty cool. Uh, the only thing is, if you fall off, you don't get teleported to Mexico, so it's a little bit of immersion breaking. But I get why they didn't do that. It's just pointless. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for the next uh, Horizon DLC. The only thing I'm not excited for is the rumors about it. Because there's already rumors that there's going to be a new DLC coming before the end of this year. Which makes sense. But the rumors are that it's going to be uh, Star Wars. That was a name that was thrown around a bit. I really hope it's not because I don't see how that would work. It would be cool. Granted, it would be cool. But, like, I've seen that rumor a, quite a couple of times. There was, like, a, a leak or something, and it was mentioned in some of the game code. Um, yeah, until they share a post, at which point I will start trusting it more. Maybe not AR12, because AR12 does run his mouth quite a lot and just says some random stuff. Um, so his, his stuff is a lot more based around his own opinions until there's definitive evidence. Because um, a lot of his content, he's like, oh, what are we going to see in the next one? Well, I hope we... And I'm like, well, fuck off. I don't care. So I'm more sort of a trusting source of uh, Don Joe on Song. But obviously Don Joe on Song doesn't post a lot about new content. He posts more about it on his Twitter. So I normally just stick around Twitter for that kind of stuff. Just scroll through Twitter. If I see a post that tells me about new content, I'll look at it. I really want, like, the old school AR-12 to come back. Like, the Forza Horizon 2 and Horizon 3 era of AR-12 gaming. Because as soon as, like, Horizon 4 and Horizon 5 has come out, he's just sort of... The content's a bit dry. Because so he definitely focuses more on himself now. More than that squad that he used to do the content with. So, you know, it just doesn't, the content doesn't excite me that he puts out anymore, which is sad because, you know, it was genuinely exciting, but you know. Nope. 
Not bad. It's a good start so far. Whoa! We're halfway there. Whoa! Donkey in a chair. Take my hand. And shove it up there. Whoa! Donkey on a chair. Donkey on a chair. <laughs> Good start so far. Hey, nice one. What type of SSD are you getting, Jacob? M.2 or uh, SATA? How much storage you get as well? I really need to look into uh, getting another eight terabyte hard drive so that I can have my footage and my games separately. QVO 2.5 inch internal SSD, eight terabyte. Oh, not bad. A terabyte? That's... I'm pretty sure that drive is like... 300, 400 quid, right? Quite a lot. Jesus. I want to get one of those, but I also can't be asked. Ah, uh, fair enough. I don't really know if they're a trusted source or not, because I haven't bought stuff from them, but... I assume if they've got some more right reviews, uh, it'd be fine. Yo, Jacob, you should totally use your Prime sub here. Wink, wink. It's free. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. They lost. Lost a little bit of the car there on that corner. Yeah, an SSD definitely improves. Uh, I don't know the, the improvement over a hard drive that a SATA SSD has. Um, I don't know whether it's substantial enough. But I obviously bought my NVMe. I got a terabyte for 60 quid. Um, and it's well worth it. Because all, all my um, NVMe SSD is used for is just some games and pretty much editing footage. So whenever I'm editing stuff, it will always be done off of the NVMe. But... but yeah, if you guys do have Twitch Prime, uh, you can sub for free. 
is definitely a great way to help support, especially smaller channels like myself. Definitely a good way to help out. Not bad. Paper planes flying out of sight. Kaleidoscopes in black and white. Kaleidoscope in black and white. Another superficial stain of mind. I lose myself. I lose control. I'm falling down the rabbit hole. And I'm long gone. I love this song. It is honestly the best song that Calyx and TV have made. Hands down the best song that they've made. And I'm long gone. Paper planes flying out of sight. Kaleidoscopes in black and white. Uh, I assume that on the inside there is the actual pit lane. Because this track... Uh, is one of tracks that has two pit lanes. Got like one on the inside and one on the outside. I assume for like two different sports or whatever, but there are two pit lanes. The rabbit hole, and I'm long gone.
state of mind. Felt like when popcorn's exploding. Oh my god. Yeah, bent, stretching your back like that can sometimes be extremely satisfying, but it sounds like you've just broken every bone in your body. Uh, on a more serious note, why the fuck is my entire left side of my car? Like, that tire wear is substantially higher on the... Uh, it's probably these few corners here. Like, the really long, fast... Yeah, that makes sense, probably. There's some faster left-hand ones that you have to slow down for, and then the right-hand corner, you're just not at enough speed. Because then you got one light down here. And then you got this corner. Yeah, so there's a lot of corners that actually has a lot more strain going on the outside tire. Especially the front outside. Uh, no, telemetry's been fairly similar. It was uh, Motorsport 2 that they added telemetry. Um, pretty much Motorsport 2 added... Actually, I think the big thing was just telemetry. And then Motorsport 3 basically just structured the rest of the game. So, like, replay, that kind of stuff. Telemetry's always had some form of variation in the telemetry menus, but they've been pretty similar. They show the exact same information, so it's not like anything's much different. What's 35 divided by 2? 15, 16, 17, 17 and a half. So on, after lap 18, I want to pit. But I'm also running low on tires, so... Because these cars are wearing out these tires much quicker than I would like. I think we can do it, though. I think we can get to lap 18. Depends how unstable we are. We'll see lap 15. If we're still unstable, we'll go for a pit stop on 15, 30, and then a five-lap sprint at the end. Fuck off, phone. Boop, 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 boop. Tiger. Rawr. So basically, tomorrow's going to be fun. I'm going to have like eight videos to edit. And then after my... Um... He got pinned on iPhone. <laughs> Brilliant. It is cool. There are obviously games that just don't have telemetry. Which is confusing because they have more simulation aspects to it, so you would expect telemetry. Like Gran Turismo, I believe, shows you a little bit of telemetry, but only if you're doing hot lap mode. Which is odd. It doesn't make sense. Sure, we'll let you have a look at your telemetry, but not for your actual race conditions or anything like that, so that you can see how your car's doing. Oh, no. You don't need that. Like, what the fuck?
I like how when I lift the throttle, I'm still have some form of friction on my rear tires. It's weird. Yeah, the telemetry is a little, can be somewhat complicated to understand. Um, but the most important part, really, is to just work out, like, if, if something's not right... Like, you can see the acceleration, the amount of, like, Gs that this thing pulls in the corners. Clearly, we're not pulling as many Gs as we want to be. Because we just don't have the tyre grip. Obviously, you can see. Tyres are getting extremely hot. Especially on the, um... Front outside tyres. Yeah, so the tyres are getting extremely worn out. But so far, we're actually still able to drive fairly quickly. So... I'm going to push for another three laps. Don't see why we can't. Just going to have extremely worn out tyres. And if my tyres go bang, you know what happened. <laughs> we drove for too long. Now, should we place bets to work out whether um, Forza Motorsport 8... Forza Motorsport, whatever you want to call it. Is actually going to have pit crews and like actual pit stops and stuff like that? Because I'm going to place a bet it's not going to exist. Oh, actually the car is really slippy now. That's not good. Still got to do the three laps though. I've made the decision. Car drives on engine, not on rubber. <laughs> Exactly. 1-800-99. Chevy. Why the hell is there a phone number on the back of it? But worth ringing it. See what they say. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. Disarray. <laughs> Way too much for a prank call. <laughs> yeah. It probably would be deactivated now anyways, that kind of number. Oh, look at that. 82% wear. We've got one more lap after this, and those tyres are gone completely. Which uh, basically seals the deal that I will 100% be driving uh, with. What's it called? Extra pit stops planned for the next few races. Because there's no way in hell. A Porsche GT3, uh, R3 car, an R2 car, or an R1 car is going to use its tyres more efficiently than this. They're going to be worse. The poor St. Boss. That was a maximum attack. 20 points. Bloody hell. White noise. Fade away. Wow, wow. 
Yeah, this is our lap that we're going to be uh, pitting on. Look at that. The tyres are gone completely. Looks a little bit like um, when we did the Nürburgring race in Motorsport 1. The tyres were just completely shot after two laps, so you had to pit every two laps. In we go. We're coming off the racetrack. Gonna go into the pit lane and get ourselves some new tyres. Woohoo! Is that pit stall at the end? This is the thing I find baffling about uh, Road Atlanta is there's so many pit stalls for different like teams. Like they quite easily could be enough space to run 60 cars at least on this track at a time. It's crazy. Battle Royale in style of NASCAR slash wreck first. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I bought wreck fest for PC. Best purchase I've done yet. Honestly, like, it is so much better on PC. At 120 frames. But, the game is actually pretty solid on the PS5 version. Where it's locked to 60. Um, but I would highly recommend getting it on either PS5 like next gen systems or uh, PC but Wreckfest is solid game and actually on PC it comes with next car game as well like the old original one where before Wreckfest became a thing like you know when they were like beta testing next car game it was like this is the next car game yeah that was pretty fucking sick Yeah, it was pretty good. Obviously, the damage, like... Next car game is brilliant at all-round stuff. So, it's got some good driving physics. It's got some good handling physics. It's got a good amount of content, good amount of events and good damage so all round it's a solid game and that's why i highly recommend it because it does well at everything but there are obviously different games like if you want damage beam ng is the way to go there's no other game that does it like it don't buy wreckfest for damage you don't buy wreckfest for physics if you want good physics i'd probably recommend gran turismo like when it comes to driving physics off-road physics Probably Dirt Rally 2.0 or WRC, something like that. If you're looking for graphics, I'd recommend something, anything but Wreckfest. But Wreckfest does all of that good. And that's very rare to see in a game nowadays, because a lot of games focus on one thing way too much than the rest. Wreckfest focuses on it all, just as important as each other. That's why I think it's such a good game. And the fact that it's an extremely stable game as well. Like, I haven't played a racing game with a frame rate and the actual graphics has been so stable on it, on PC, compared to, like, other stuff. But you think WRC's a little bit unstable. 
Dirt Rally 2.0 is probably pretty stable, to be honest. Oh yeah, exactly. It's crazy. I need to actually probably get into BeamNG though. Like do all the um, sort of like crash maps and stuff like that. Because they do look pretty awesome. Well, uh, if you have a look at the uh, link down below in the uh, description that I got, there's um, two links there. There's uh, Eniba and Humble Bundle. Have a look at those two websites because you can find some cheap keys to be able to get and stuff like BeamNG. Um, it's always worth, if you haven't got a game and you want to look into it, to check, take a look at those websites and they're extremely cheap. Yeah, one thing I bought off of um, Enabud the other day, really cool. Uh, I bought Bus Simulator 2018. Um, I didn't want to buy the 2021 one because it was like 15 quid, which is still cheaper than it was on Steam, but quite a lot for something if I don't like it. I spent three quid on the game and I was hooked and I bought all the DLC afterwards. Yeah, that's fair enough. That makes sense. Good old Calix and TB. this race uh, I'm probably gonna go downstairs and look at getting some food for my dinner we're gonna chat for a bit on stream so we're probably gonna be right back for five minutes go on to a just chat segment for ten minutes and then we'll crack back on with recording some more content And also, once we've done this race, we'll uh, pick another artist to listen to because I think we've done enough Calyx and TV today. Whoa! Oh! It's a slide and a half. Just about saved that one. This is looking good. You know what I wish Twitch would do as like a feature for creators is being able to give um, subs to your chat free of charge. Um, only reason 
is because if you do stuff like that, because obviously for some people, paying for it is fine. Like for me, I don't mind paying for it if it works. But for some people who can't just like straight up pay for subs, it'd be good for them to be able to give back to some of their community. Like even if every creator got given five free subs a month that they could gift out to whoever they wanted to in their chat. That's better than nothing. I really think that should be something that Twitch adds. Even if those free subs give you absolutely no revenue whatsoever. Because obviously, like, when I'm paying for these subs, I'm still getting part of that revenue back. So it doesn't seem as expensive. But, like, even if they give back just a little bit, or, like, no revenue whatsoever, it just gives someone the features of having a sub. That'd be a good thing to do. Move out the way, you fat bastard. Move out the way, you fat bastard. Move out the way, you fat bastard. Alright, so Tyway's looking good so far. Got a little bit of damage actually on one of the bodywork panels. It's a bit of a shame. Not bad. On to the brakes. On to the brakes. On to the brakes. The brakes. The brakes. bad. Not bad. Right, we've got seven, eight laps to go. My back is killing me because I've been sat in this position. Well, I don't think I actually moved since the last race. Which is not a good idea.
Not bad. Couple more laps to go, and we're starting to see the tire wear on that front tire again. bad. I really do like the look of this uh, Corvette, by the way. It's quite a nice car. Look at that, like, tire dust. That's the cool thing I like about this game. It actually simulates tire dust. Like, as you drive along, the rubber just caking itself onto the car as it flicks off. That's a pretty cool feature, and I don't think that got carried over to some of the other games. Not bad, not bad at all, not bad at all there, not bad, not bad at all. Do -do 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 -do. I think from this point onwards, after this, it's going to be one event per category. We're going to start seeing those categories close up fairly quickly. I mean, we're at 70, past 75% mark. We're at 50 episodes. So yeah, we're going to be looking at about 60, 65 episodes. Maybe 70. I don't see us doing too many more than that. Get out the wait. Get out the wait. Get out the way. Move. Beach, get out the way. That was a first place car, wasn't it? Hang on. Let's wait till we cross another timestamp. Timestamp comes up here. Yeah, there you go. That's second place car. We've lapped it twice. Unreal. This is what happens when you set stuff to easy, but guess what happens if you set it any harder? I'm not even joking though, like if you set this to medium, right, we'd be probably still behind that car. Like for a three minute difference for that length of race is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. I've spun I've fucked this. There we go, back on track. Oh, there we go, not bad. 
Nearly lost it, but kept it together. We've got three more laps after this. This race has felt like it's gone on forever because there's just so many more laps. But uh, these endurance races have felt much longer in this game compared to uh, Motorsport. Motorsport 1. But then again, the only one that was actually substantially long was the last one and the second to last one. Because the second to last was like 45 minutes and the last one was an hour. Everyone before that was about 25 to 35 minutes. This one, at least they're consistently about 50 minutes long. So, they're more consistent, but it does make it feel longer. Vibing all the way to the vibe check. Vibing all the way with a vibe check. Vibing all the way, every way, every day. I'm gonna vibe all day and all night check. <laughs> it's the vibe of the century. Oh my god, fuck right off, you prick. Get out of here. Fucking wrong. Would you like to buy followers? No fucking thanks. Fuck right off. Not bad. I like my driving. It's very poggers. Oh no. White flag, white flag, final lap, final lap. Let me know what it's like on PS3. Let me know if it's uh, any better than the PC version or whatnot should be um, somewhat more stable because it's designed for like that hardware and that hardware never changes. That's why a lot of older PC games don't t seem to work properly, especially if you've got like different graphics cards. Like at least Nvidia is sort of like somewhat backwards compatible with a lot of older games. Yeah, I got thirty sixty. So. But uh, sometimes 
like newer graphics cards don't support older games just because it's a pain in the ass. Oh my god! God, right? Oh, I can't feel my hands. It's just buzz. It's just been buzzed for the past god knows how long. Zack Speed Racing. What in the fuck is that? I'll take five levels on that car, though. Yeah, that makes sense. Sometimes it's just stops working. Got a bonus of 100 grand as well for coming first. Get ourselves a... Is that another Viper? For fuck's sake, more Vipers. Can we get away from the damn Vipers? There's so many. Unreal. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.